This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So last week, we had our first all-dominary against odds poll, and in the end, it was a predictable outcome, Lich's Mastery coming out on top, which means today, we are heading to Dominaria Standard to play a Lich's Mastery deck. I'm calling this one Mardu Mastery, and it's basically just overloaded on sweet ways to abuse and kind of combo with Lich's Mastery. So a quick reminder before we break down Mardu Mastery for Dominaria Standard. If you enjoy Against the Odds and the other series here on the channel, it would be amazing of you. If you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Mardu Mastery, starting with with the namesake, Lich's Mastery. So, one of the craziest cards from Dominaria. Six mana enchantment, three black mana thrown in there. It has Hexproof, makes it so we can't lose the game. If we would gain life, we draw that many cards, which is the main text that we're trying to abuse. However, there is a downside. If we would lose life, for each life that we lose, we gotta exile a permanent, or a card from our hand, or a card from our graveyard, and then the ultimate downside, if Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, we lose the game, which means two different things. First off, if our opponent can find a way of killing it, even though it has hexproof, like our of revelation or a river's rebuke bouncing it we just lose the game no questions asked on the other hand the exiling ability as we take damage means that eventually we're going to run out of cards in our graveyard cards in hand other cards on the battlefield and be forced to exile lich's mastery to itself and then we lose the game that way however hopefully that doesn't happen instead we have a bunch of different ways of abusing lich's mastery so number one the straightforward combo i tried not to include it but it's just too good not to include a couple of copies of approach of the second sun so this one's pretty simple we get down lich's mastery for six mana on seven mana we cast approach of the second sun we gain seven life which means we draw seven cards however before we draw those seven cards we put approach of the second sun back in our library seven cards from the top which means we're just going to straight up draw approach of the second sun again if we have enough mana we cast it again if not we wait till our next turn otherwise we do seven new cards as well which is just a huge influx of card advantage so even if we don't win the game with approach drawing seven for seven is not the worst deal along with gaining seven life so that's kind of combo one combo two is ether flux reservoir and this card is insane with lich's mastery so it's just a one of if we get up to 50 life we get to kill our opponent the other thing it is the other thing Aetherflux Reservoir does is makes it so whenever we cast a spell, we're gaining life. An increasing amount of life for each spell we cast each turn. So we cast our first spell, we gain a life, we draw a card. If we can cast another spell, we're drawing two cards, and three cards, and four cards. So it just kind of spirals out of control like this crazy storm-esque type combo where if we can just keep casting cheap things, we're drawing more cheap things so we can cast more cheap things. So eventually we get up to that 50 life, target our opponent, win the game that way. Although be warned, when we actually activate either flex reservoir we're paying 50 life which means we need to exile 50 cards from our hand battlefield or graveyard which is basically our whole deck so we gotta like draw our entire deck before winning that way to support this plan we also have a couple of big life gain spells so these cards help with ether flux reservoir they're also just insane with lich's mastery drawing us tons of cards so sanguine sacrament becomes like the ultimate sphinx's revelation when we have lich's mastery out we cast it for let's say six mana total because we already cast our Lich's Mastery. That means we're going to gain 8 life, draw 8 cards for 6 mana, which is an insane deal. Then Sanguine Sacrament goes back in our library, so we draw it again, do it again. In the late game, we can just do this every single turn. Like, we're milling ourselves out. We got no more cards in our deck, but Lich's Mastery makes it so we can't lose the game. So we can just cast it for all of our mana every turn, gain huge chunks of life, try to go that direction for winning the game. And then Renewed Faith is just straight up draw 6 for 3 mana, which is one of the more ridiculous cards 
cards that could ever have been created. And then we also could just cycle it and draw two and do it in an uncounterable way. So not only do these cards gain us life to get towards the reservoir kill, they're also gaining us life to just draw insane amounts of card with Lich's Mastery. Our final support piece for the life gain plan is Azur's Gateway. So Azur's Gateway comes down, loots in the early game, eventually it flips, gaining us five life. If we got Master, we draw five cards, and then it's tapping for like 20 mana, which is our easiest way to like cast two approaches in a turn, cast just absolutely insanely huge copies of Sanguine Sacrament to draw our entire deck to gain hundreds and hundreds of life. So a really sweet card filtering slash combo piece. Our last Lich's Mastery plan is getting into the trials along with a couple of glorious ends. So Gideon is just another way to make it so we can't lose the game with the emblem. And then we can use Glorious End mostly on our opponent's upkeep to essentially take an extra turn. Three mana, our opponent's turn ends on their upkeep. So they don't draw a card, they don't really get to do anything. Then we get our turn back. So it's kind of a three mana extra turn spell. And then because of Lich's Mastery or getting into the trials, we don't actually pay the cost of Glorious End of losing the game on our next end step. The rest of the deck, we get a bunch of removal, Fatal Push Seal away for the early game. Veraska's Contempt, especially good with Lich's Mastery because it gains two life, so it's like exile something, which is already great, and draw two cards. Then we have Settle the Wreckage, Fumigate for Sweeper. Fumigate's kind of like our Veraska's Contempt. It's mostly in the game because we got to kill our opponent's stuff to stay alive long enough to get to our Lich's Mastery, Approach of the Second Sons, all of our big stuff. But the life gain is sometimes Wrath the Board for five mana, plus draw three, four, five, ten cards thanks to all the creatures dying in the life we gain. Otherwise, Karn just keeps us cycling through our deck, can make some jump blocking constructs. No real purpose, just a really strong curve filling card. Mana base, a bunch of dual lands. We have a few deserts, including Scavenger Grounds, Field of Ruins, some basic lands. As far as the sideboard, we get Lyra Dawnburger, 30 of the consoles, four aggro primarily, more ways of gaining life, just keeping our Lich powered up. Settle the Wreckage, another sweeper. A Braid gets early game creatures and artifacts. For control, Duress, Dupe Fall, and Lost Legacy. And that is Mardu Mastery for Dominaria Standard. And that's our Against the Odds deck for this week. So, is this deck good? Is it going to work? <laughs> I don't know. But I have faith that we're going to do some super awesome things at least some percentage of the time. So, as far as our overall record... Uh, it's a little clunky. We got a lot of legendary six mana enchantments, a lot of expensive stuff. We do got life gain to stay alive, so that's good. So anyway, it should be interesting. We'll see how it goes, but I'm excited to give Lich's Mastery a shot. Anyway, that's our Against the Odds deck for this week. Mardu Mastery for Dominaria Standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay video, and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget, you can pick up the new Series 3 tokens featuring vampires, elementals, treasures, and elves over at mtggoldfishmerch.com. Alright, against the odds time, Pl playing some Mardu Mastery? Approach, Mardu, Liches, etc. Cliff top go. This hand's actually pretty good. We have Mastery. We have... Kinda like it. Ooh, boy. Combo. It's a combo. Pass the turn. Shh, Spire Bluff Canal. And an approach. Well, play the land. Play Gideon of the Trials. Yeah. Boo. All right. Gideon countered. Well, hopefully this Karn resolves. Timely blue mana. More blue mana. Opponent passes. I'll play Field of Ruin and play Karn. All right. Take up Karn. We're fine with just hitting a land here, really. Azur's Gateway Fatal Push. We get the Fatal Push. Pass the turn. And Veraska's Contempt. Ugh. Another land for our opponent. Well, our hand is doing pretty much nothing at the moment. Azur's Gateway. We really need this. Alright, pass the turn. Opponent. Tapping, untapping. Chaya Ballard. Discards some cards. Draws some cards. Alright, plays a land. Land, please? <laughs> oh my god, Sanguine Sacrament. Sanguine Sacrament is awesome in the late, late, late game, and literally the worst card in our deck any other time. It's sweet as a one-of when we get, like, Ultra Sphinx's Tutelage in the super late game. Oh my goodness, we cannot find a land. Pass the turn. Search for his Kanta. Add that to the cards we can't deal with pile. Well, there's a land. Play Dragon Skull Summit. Pass the turn. 
Opponent passes. Play Isolated Chapel. I mean, I think we gotta do it. The, it's probably not gonna work, but... Lich's Mastery. Oh, it, it did work. Okay! Now I kind of like where we're at. All of our life gain spells suddenly become live. Lightning Strike. Exile three cards. Search for Skanta. Opponent's gonna get the flip here by the looks. Assuming they mill. No mill, no flip. All right. Opponent passes. Play Concealed Courtyard. Pass the turn. See what our opponent does. All right, we'll let this go. Opponent flips. So now we feel the Ruin. Opponent activates. Okay. Gets a... Negate. Grab a Plains. Opponent plays a land. Search for Azkanta. Well, this seems like a good time to Glorious End. Oh, there's a negate. All right, well, hopefully that's the only negate. If that's the only negate, we're in awesome shape. Opponent passes. Play Clifftop Retreat. And approach. Who resolves? Draw seven. Pass the turn. Oh, man, that's what we were looking for. Discard Fatal Push. Discard Fumigate. Discard C Concealed Courtyard. And discard Seal Away. So, approach is back. And we have... A million card draw spells now. Opponent flips, search for Escanta. Cycles. I'm gonna activate, or not. Opponent's gonna pass. I mean, I guess we just do it. Approach number two. Opponent goes digging, seeing if they can find a counter. If they whiff, I think, oh, they whiff, we got there. Ooh, Lich's approach. Well, that was pretty impressive because we had infinite dead cards in our deck in that matchup, but we get to bring in all of our control stuff. Duresses, Doomfall, Lost Legacy, go down Fatal Push, go down Settle the Wreckage, go down Fumigate, go down some Seal Aways for Lyra's. We'll leave one seal the way, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's try it like that. All right, opponent passes. Eh, let's just swamp and duress. Maybe you're to search for his conta. Uh, they have two search for his contas. Well, take negate, pass the turn. Spire bluff canal and search for his conta. Opponent passes. Well, cliff top retreat go. Opponent gets to start searching, unfortunately. Yep, Mill Supreme Will, looking for lands. Ooh, does not hit a land. That's good for us. I'll play Dragon Skull Summit, pass the turn. Mill's Die Ballard, finds a land. Well, Cycle Renewed Faith, Gideon, there's a land. I mean, I think we go for it, play Gideon. Uh, they drew a counter, they did. All right, well, that's a counter drawn. Search for his Kanta, leaves a land on top. Oh, leaves a counter on top, must be. A play isolated chapel, pass the turn. So dream scenario is opponent goes land Chandra and we get we draw land and can Lich's mastery, then we probably win. Tap land. Come on, deck. Well, play Lyra. Opponent does have Vraska's contempt, so we know they can kill it. No mill. Plays a land. Oh, come on, land, come on, land. Well, get in with Lyra. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Here goes Lyra. Yep. Now our opponent gets to flip search. Yep, there is the flipping of search for his Kanta. Well, cycle renewed faith. Feel the ruin? Play Dragon Skull Summit, pass the turn. Well, opponent's gonna start grabbing spells. It's in the gate. Opponent, mountain, and passes. I mean, we're gonna play Lich's Mastery. I feel like we're pretty buried here. Gets negated. Our opponent's going to be drawing a counter spell every turn, so I don't know how we get through them other than just casting our stuff. Opponent, Supreme Will. Ugh. All right. Opponent, Island. Search for Skanta. Opponent, passes. We really need two. Well, we're going to try again. Lich's Mastery. Do we run him out? Do we run him out of counters? Wow, okay. Well, game on. We ran him out. Search for his kata. So the only thing that really beats us is River's Rebuke is a card they could have. There's a Chandra. Ticks up. Chandra. We'd love to draw a land here. Having land for Glorious End and Veraska's Contempt would be huge. Untap land. All right. Veraska's Contempt, your Chandra. Opponent disallows. So stop on our opponent's upkeep and glorious end they are gonna activate let's see what they hit please no counter for us oh Vraska's contempt's fine we Vraska's contempt the chandra draw a couple cards play scavenger grounds play ether flux reservoir pass the turn no losing no losing for us and now i think we're in pretty good shape 
<laughs> it's kind of working. Phone end passes. So play Isolated Chapel. Pass the turn. Opponent goes to activate. So we will Sacrament to draw eight. Actually nine, because of Reservoir. Ah, uh, Countering. Oh, Lightning Strike. That Sure, that's fine. That is acceptable. So we draw one. Draw eight. Sanguine Sacrament to the bottom. Um, all right, they can have their activation. Opponent finds a disallow. Yep. So, pass the turn. Uh, discard, steal away. Discard, land, land, land. And I guess land. Man, if we resolve a Lich's Mastery, it feels like it's hard to lose. Opponent. I mean, just like, duress, draw a card is so sweet. Opponent passes. Well, duress our opponent. <laughs> Gain a life, draw a card. Opponent activates. Chandra, Torture Defiance. Yup. Opponent counters. Sure, we draw a card. Now we renewed faith. Draw eight cards. Renewed faith? Hmm. Play Azur's Gateway. Gain three life. Draw some cards. Duress our opponent. <laughs> it's a combo! It's a combo! Gain four life. Draw four cards. Torrent's got nothing. Play Azur's Gateway. Gain some life. And... Aetherflux Reservoir for the win! We did it! We did it! That's exactly... <laughs> that's exactly how we drew it up. Alright! Mardu Mastery! Looking good, looking good against Grixis Control. Alright, uh, against odds time. Playing some Mardu Mastery, and yeah, one land, not gonna do it. This hand's look pretty good for being six cards. We'll keep Karn. I mean, we got a gateway to start looting, we got a removal spell. Depending on what our opponent's playing. Fetid Pools. Planes go. Opponent. Oh. All right. It's a Tezzeret deck. Interesting. Well, Conceal Courtyard. Play Azur's Gateway. Pass the turn. Opponent. Island. And, oh, what is going on? Oh, it's, is this Storm? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well, Isolated Chapel go. <laughs> Navigator's Compass. <laughs> Okay. I can't even imagine that's the best of the one mana artifact options. Fetid pools. Well, Azur's Gateway. Exile Azur's Gateway. Untap. Play Clifftop Retreat. And yeah, play Karn. Take up Karn. Approach and a land. We get the land. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. <laughs> no paradoxical outcomes, please. For the love of God. Land. All right. Brawl's Expertise. Replays the Prism. Draws a card. Mox Amber. Just because. Opponent. Passes. Well, take up Karn. Lich's Mastery. Veraska's Contempt. We get Veraska's Contempt. Play Azur's Gateway. Loot with Azur's Gateway. Get rid of Veraska's Contempt. Play a land. Pass the turn. Uh. Reverse Engineer. Draws three. Ornithopter. Opponent. Passing. Well, yeah. Untap. Play a sw uh, Isolated Chapel. Take up Karn. Seal away Fatal Push. Seal away, not doing much. Well, play Lich's Mastery. And hope our opponent doesn't have Paradoxical Outcome. Yep. Opponent draws four and picks up their stuff. Well, let's see if we keep living. Inventor's Fair. Prism draws a card. Uh, once a Paradoxical Outcome comes, <laughs> it's hard to, hard to keep up with the amount of cards drawn. Ornithopter. Prophetic Prism. Prophetic Prism. Navigator's Compass. Opponent passing. Uh, what do we do? So let's renewed faith. Draw six. Come on, glorious end. No glorious end. Hmm. Well, loot. Get rid of a land. Play a swamp. Pick up Karn. Oh, there it was! Oh, we were so close. We get a fatal push. Well, fatal push and ornithopter. Oh, uh, we were we were close. We were super close. So we just gotta hope our opponent's got nothing somehow. Another Ornithopter. Reverse Engineer. Draws a bunch of cards. Ooh, Sax Inventor's Fair. Huh, maybe we're getting another turn. They don't have much mana. Alright, there's Statuary for next turn. Renegade map. Alright, we get another turn, which means we get that glorious end. Opponent's passing, so we will cycle this desert. Opponent discards. Clifftop retreat. Well, take down Karn. It... Glorious end. Play Clifftop Retreat. Discard Veraska's Contempt. All right, opponent. No counters, no counters. Inspiring Statuary. This is tough. Well, let's loot with Azur's Gateway. Get rid of the Sealed Away. Glorious end. 
cracks map, okay, gets an island, commits. Okay, okay. Ugh, okay. I don't think our opponent can win this turn, though. Plays Baral, and passes? That doesn't seem like a gain. Well, let's Sacrament, draw four. Get back our glorious end. Okay, Baral's expertise, sure. Prophetic Prism, yep. I mean, opponent's staying alive. Mox Amber. Opponent's using their Mox Ambers. Opponent passes. Second Glorious End is pretty good. Tick down Karn. Get Fatal Push. Fatal Push Brawl. Play a Mountain. Play Azur's Gateway. Pass the turn. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Upkeep Glorious End. Our turn. Okay. Play a Planes. Play Approach. Draw a bunch of cards. The question's gonna be, does our opponent have a counter? Tick up Karn. If they don't have a counter, second Glorious End should do it. We get a land. Pass the turn. Do some discarding. Yeah, no losing. Lich's Mastery. Saves the day. Discard. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Glorious End number two. Come on, no counter. No counter. And our opponent scoops it up. Glorious End, Glorious End approach. Lich's Mastery. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. I can't believe... I can't believe, oh my goodness, I can't believe that worked. Whoo! All right, well, bring in duresses, go down sealaways, bring in abrades, go down settle the wreckage, go down Veraska's contempts, bring in doomfall and lost legacies, probably gonna bring in Lyra's, go down fumigates, Veraska's contempt. All right, I guess we're stuck with one Veraska's contempt. Okay. Well, we can kill Baral. Tap land. Well, Dragon's Call Summit, go. Around Catacombs. Opponent, passing. We'll play Deadlands. Play Azur's Gateway. All right, opponent spends in the gate. Hopefully they don't have Inspiring Statuary, and hopefully we draw lands. Island, Inspiring Statuary. Land, no. All right, well, play Azur's Gateway. Pass the turn. Tap land for our opponent. There's Baral. Opponent passes. Well, Fatal Push Baral. Dress our opponent. All right, Baral in nothingness. Play Dragon Skull Summit, pass the turn. Island, Baral. Opponent passes. Well, play Field of Ruin. Fatal Push Baral. Field of Ruin Memorial. Grab a Plains. Pass the turn. Prism draws a card. If we can get rid of Paradoxical Outcome, it's hard for our opponent to combo. Another Brawl. Well, let's loot with Gateway. Get rid of Gateway. Untap. Isolated Chapel. Well, loot with Gateway. Get rid of a land. Play Isolated Chapel. Actually, let's cycle one of these. Cycle a Renewed Faith. Mastery. All right, moment of truth. Come on, no big... Uh-oh, they drew it. Oh, all right. Well, opponent's last card was commit. That's not that bad. I guess they can commit to refill their hand. Or they top deck reverse engineer. Field of Ruin. Mox Amber. Opponent's passing. Ugh. Field of Ruin. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we'll just take a Plains. Psycho Renewed Faith. I guess they want to get rid of Azur's Gateway. Approach. Well, come on, no counters. Lost Legacy. On Paradoxical Outcome, 100%. Alright, let's take a look at this deck. Wow, this is a spicy, a spicy, spicy something. Couple of Zalids. Alright, this is different than we expected. Well, Psycho Renewed Phase, see if we can hit our land. Yep, gain some life, draw a card. Land? Raska's Contempt. Alright, pass the turn. Opponent draws, plays a land, oh, alright, only has an island in hand. Here comes the draw seven, I think. Yup. Huh, okay, interesting. Prophetic Prism draws a card. And a Karn. Makes an artifact. Okay, not good, not good. Opponent gets in. Ugh, well, we didn't really plan for a million creatures. Well, duress our opponent. Renegade map, Renegade map, Zalid. We'll take Renegade map. Lost Legacy Zalid? I guess we need more creature removal. Yup. Play a tap land, pass the turn memorial for our opponent makes another construct renegade map argos bloodfast not sure how we beat these constructs opponent gets in for a billion we untap play scavenger grounds play lyra pass the turn opponent's gonna start drawing cards cycles draws a card 
Field of Ruin. Takes up Karn. Good god. Alright. Gets Renegade Map. Opponent. Attacks. Attacks. Alright. We'll take it. Down to two. Opponent drew their one Torment of Hailfire, apparently. Alright. I think, uh, yeah. Alright, that works. <laughs> uh, I don't know what our opponent's deck doing. Just playing two of, uh, two of everything. Well, since we saw that, I guess we gotta keep Faraska's Contempts. And then... I guess we gotta go down Lyra's? And... I guess we could've lit Lich's Mastery, especially with Rivers Rebuke being a thing. Oh my god. Alright, we're on the play. And I guess we keep this. Not much action, but we have a Duress. Concealed Courtyard, go. Island for our opponent, and a Renegade map. Yep. More lands. Well, Duress our opponent. Inspiring Statuary, negate Prophetic Prism. Well, take Statuary. A the tap land, pass the turn. Drown Catacombs, Prophetic Prism, draws a card. Opponent passes. I'll play Field of Ruin, pass the turn. Inventor's Fair, Renegade Map, Mox Amber. Now, let's kill Inventor's Fair. Grab a Swamp. Opponent passes. Play the Plains, and yeah, we gotta pass. Opponent cracks the map. They must have drawn Karn, plays a Swamp. Opponent passing. All right, well, Cycle Renewed Faith. Gain some life. Come on, Duress. Ooh, a braid. A play Clifftop Retreat. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Drown Catacombs. Zalid. Ugh. Well, blow up Mox Amber. A way to kill Zalid would be helpful. Opponent passes. Ugh, Lost Legacy. So we can play Lich's Mastery. I think we have to play Deadlands. Play Karn. Take up Karn. Approach and Dragon Skull Summit. Pass the turn. Tap land for our opponent. Prophetic Prism draws a card. Opponent. Getting in at Karn. Yep. And passes. Fatal Push doesn't help here. Well, take down Karn. Get Approach. Play Dragon Skull Summit. Cast Approach. Wow. Opponent fires off the negate. All right, well, let's just draw our second Approach and steal this win. Opponent gets a land. Gonna go attacking. Yep. Down to 17. Come on, approach. Come on, approach. Vedic Prism draws a card. Come on, approach. Karn. Oh, approach just wins us this game. Approach just wins it. Makes a construct. Come on, approach. Come on, approach. Mastery. Play Lich's Mastery. Fatal push the construct. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. Oh, this is so risky. This is so risky. Takes up Karn. Opponent can have a Field of Ruin. Plays Field of Ruin. Oh, come on, Approach. Come on, Approach. Gets in with Zalid. If we don't draw Approach, we at least need life gain. We lose five, we exile five. Yep, down to 11. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on, deck. Give us something to go with. Not Rivers Rebuke. All right. Well. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yeah, all right, the one ups come through. Oh boy! All right, all right, all right. Against the odds, time playing some Mardu Mastery. Ugh! All the Field of Ruins. Oh uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep. We got Azur's Gateway. Opponent Sheltered Thicket. Well, Isolated Chapel. Goo. Mountain for our opponent. Merfolk Branch Walker. Finds a forest. Well, Field of Ruin and Azur's Gateway. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a forest. Death Gorge Scavenger. All right. Gets in. So just kind of red-green monsters or something. I'll play Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin Sheltered Thicket. Grab a swamp. And pass the turn. Opponent. Getting in. Four, six. Yup. Eats our field of ruin. Eh, it's fine. Commune with dinosaurs. Grabs an oasis. Plays oasis. Abrades. Well, let's loot with gateway. Get rid of our... I guess it's renewed faith for now. Yep. Untap. More gateways. Yeah, let's seal away. Get rid of scavenger. Clifftop retreat. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Regisar Alpha. Alright. Well, Fatal Push the Dino. Opponent gets in for two. Down to ten. And passes. 
Play Dragon Skull Summit. Pass the turn. Opponent, a Lori Bringer. Well, hopefully this is just an all-out attack, and we get to settle some wreckages here. All right, wreckages will be settled. Opponent does get a bunch of lands, but we get rid of three really good creatures. Opponent passes. Let's play Karn. Tick up Karn. Land or approach. Play the land. Pass the turn. All right, Brontodon. Opponent passes. Tick up Karn. Land or Veraska's Contempt. Play the land. Play Gateway. Pass the turn. Opponent of Braids. Well, I guess we loot, because all we should loot. Hmm. I guess it's got to be Renewed Faith, unfortunately. Opponent goes to combat. Gets in at us. Well, we'll take it. Yup, down to seven. Rekindling Phoenix. All right, we got to get rid of Rekindling Phoenix. So Vraska's Contempt, back up to nine. Take up Karn. Get a Karn. Let's Field of Ruin Oasis. Grab a Swamp. Fumigate Brontodon. All right, Opponent Sacks gets back Death Gorge Scavenger. Can exile something from our graveyard, but then we kill the Death Gorge Scavenger. All right, gain some life. Pass the turn. Our opponent just scoops it up. Well, <laughs> apparently Karn is good enough on its own. So bring in Settle the Wreckage. Maybe bring in Lyra Dawnbringer. Go down. <sighs> Might have to cut Glorious Ends. Hmm. I guess we can cut Sacrament, one Glorious End, one Gideon. Try it like that. Well, we got our Glorious End. We are a long ways away from casting it. At plan for our opponent. Uh, Cliff Top Retreat, go. Forest. Let the exploration begin. Branch Walker. And our opponent mills it. Gideon's sweet. Gideon actually lets us turn on this Glorious End earlier, potentially. Mountain. Opponent. Goes attacking. We take it. There's a Brontodon. Gain some life. Draw Renewed Faith. Play Isolated Chapel. Play Gideon. Take up on Branch Walker. Pass the turn. Commune with Dinosaurs. Finds a Rootbound Craig. Plays a Rootbound Craig. Commune with Dinosaurs. I want to zero the Gideon in Glorious End. It is very risky. If our Gideon dies, then we die with it. Opponent. Hits Gideon. Okay. And Blossoming Defense. Well, that plan's off the table. Fumigate. Well, Clifftop Retreat. Go. Opponent, Chandra Torture Defiance, takes up, down to 17. Opponent hits us, well let's cycle Renewed Faith, into more Renewed Faith. Down to 13, play a Swamp, kill Chandra, pass the turn. Land for our opponent, ugh, more Chandras, so many Chandras, takes up, down to 13, gets in, hits us, down to 7. We'll play Deadlands, I'll play Lyra. Pass the turn. We really need Lyra to stick or we're dead. Registar Alpha. Okay. Opponent. Wow. All out attack. Kill Brontodon. Go to 12. Down to 6. Okay. Opponent. I think not under... Oh! Boy! <laughs> it's a Bane Slayer. Opponent. Uh, yeah. Shame Scoop. We got the Shame Scoop. Ugh. Uh, unfortunately for our opponent, I don't know if we would have won if they hadn't Shame Scoop. So we'll take the Shame Scoop there because we very well might have lost that <laughs> that game. We were still not favored. All right, uh, against the odds time. Ugh, one land, Mulliganing. All right, this is a little better. We will put Lich's Mastery, <laughs> our six mana legendary enchantment, to the bottom. Only need one. Only one, now and forever. Okay, come on, Fumigates. <laughs> Fumigates, cast downs, that's what we need. Legion's landing for our opponent. Well, Swamp Goo. This white deck has gotten a lot scarier with Benelish Marshall. Losing to Benelish Marshall often. Also, Dauntless Escort's good. Oh, it's it's Boggles. All right, opponent getting in. 4-2 with lifelink, yup. Well, Chapel Goo. Tap land for our opponent. And the Bonded Courier. Hell, I guess we're going to regret not main phase hitting this vampire. I was not thinking that our opponent would have a hasty threat. But they do. Oh my god. Well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, should have done a main phase. I was thinking we might be able to get another enchantment out of our opponent's hand. Instead, punished. Max punished. Down to 16. Opponent gets free manas. Dauntless Bodyguard. 
Bazes. Oh, Planes Goo. Oh, so punished. So incredibly punished. <sighs> well, all this could have been avoided by main phasing that uh, seal away, and we will scoop it up. All right. Well, just goes to show you how a small mistake can change the game. So I think we bring in authority of the consoles. I think we bring in set of the wreckage. Go down one Lich's Mastery. Uh, probably got to cut the Sacrament. All right, let's go down one Glorious End. Try it like that. Give us our Wrath or give us death, because that's literally what we'll have. All right, we have our Wrath. Isolated Chapel. You. Opponent. Planes. And Sky Marcher is fine, right? Yep. We'll play Courtyard. Pass the turn. Tap land. And Toolcraft. Opponent. Getting in for two. Uh, we untap. Play the Mountain. Pass the turn. Planes. Marshal. <sighs> All right. I guess we have to Fatal Push Sky Marcher. Benelish Marshal is a real magic card. Cycle the Desert. Well, we have three Rass. If this doesn't beat this white deck... <laughs> <laughs> then we're probably never going to beat the white deck. Down to 16. And a Veraska's Condemned. All right, play the Swamp. Pass the turn. Another Marshal. Dauntless Bodyguard. Okay. Opponent. Attacks. Well, let's... Veraska's Contempt Marshal. The Bodyguarded Marshal. Take our beats. Down to 13. Isolated Chapel. And Fumigate. Okay, so opponent sacks it so we don't gain the life, but board is clear. We're still at 15. We still have two wraps in, wraths in hand. Toolcraft and Cultivator's Caravan. Yep, opponent passes. I'll pass the turn. Eventually, we're going to find Lich's Mastery, and then things get fun. Opponent, going to get him with Toolcraft. Do they crew? They do. That's fine. So opponent attacks, Contempt the vehicle, up to 17. Isolated Chapel, go. Planes for our opponent. Servo Exhibition. Pumps Toolcraft. Yeah, we've just had too many sweepers. Toolcraft down to 14. Well, let's cycle. Looking for a mastery. Gain a couple. Ooh, gateway sweet. Yeah, let's just fumigate. It's safest. Back up to 19. Pass the dirt. Sky Skiff. Opponent passes. We'll play gateway. Loot. Yeah, we'll get rid of Dragon Skull Summit. Pass the turn. Opponent. Passing. Well, Cycle Renewed Faith. Up to 21. Draw. Land. Seal away. Well, keep looting. Gateway. Get rid of Settle the Wreckage. Play Ether Flux Reservoir. Play Chapel. Pass the turn. Ah, oh, come on, Mastery. Legion's Landing. Crew Sky Skiff. Gets in. 4, 2. Yep, down to 19. Opponent passes. Holy seal aways. Well, loot with gateway. Get rid of seal away. Play the land. Pass the turn. Yep, here comes the skiff. We're just gonna take two again. Don't really care about two damage here. Down to 17. Gideon. Well, let's keep looting. Gideon's a three. Exile Gideon. I guess this is fine. Let's play Lich's Mastery. Gain a life. <laughs> opponent scoops it up. Well, that's our game plan. Just kill all of our opponent's stuff forever. Oh, we probably need these abrades too, honestly. Probably cut the glorious end. And let's go two authorities. We don't really want to get authority flooded. Try it like that. And awkward. I think we got a mulligan. Ugh. Okay. If we draw three lands in a row to the bottom, oh boy, planes for our opponent. And legions landing. Yep. Opponent passes. Well, land one. One of three needed. We could also hit some cycling stuff for Azure's Gateway. Tap land for our opponent. Sky Marcher is pirate. Yep. Opponent gets in for one. Down to 19. All right. That's a land. Play desert. Pass the turd. So land two of three drawn. We might be doing it. Land. Bomat Courier. Well, let's fatal push Bomat Courier. Don't want our opponent to flip. Take three. Down to 16. Ugh. All right, they're flipping next turn. Come on, deck. Well, isolate a chapel go. Now we really need an untap land next turn. Pony is going to flip. Guy Marcher. Here comes the dorks. Come on, untap land. We take five. Down to 11. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. You can do it. You can do it. More legions landings. All right, scavenger grounds go. We got a shot. We got a shot. Oh, come on, don't play around this settle. 
Just swing, swing away, swing away. Everything, every single thing. Well, that's enough that we gotta do it, unfortunately. Settle the wreckage. Opponent gets a million lands out of their deck. Makes a 1-1. One, one. Gets four lands. We're still gonna need to find a Fumigate. Gets a lands, flips. We take zero. Opponent passes. This is a somewhat greedy line, but let's Karn. Take up, land gateway. Play Dragon Skull Summit, pass the turn. Opponent, gonna go attacking. Everything at our face. Yup. Down to six. Plays a land, passes. Well, take up Karn. Fumigate, please. Ooh, opponent gives us renewed faith. That's kind of like a fog here. Hmm. Isolated chapel. Pass the turn. Opponent makes a 1-1. One, one. Uh, there's the marshal. Uh-oh. Yup. Opponent attacks. Attacks. So contempt the marshal. Oh boy. Or drop to four. Opponent passes. So take up Karn. Fumigate. Fumigate. Two lands. Play Gideon. Take up Gideon on one of the Sky Marchers. Man, we have played potentially a record number of tap lands. Opponent makes a 1-1. One, one. Legion's landing. Uh, come on, Fumigate. Opponent. Us. All right. Going at us. Yep. Flips. So we need to... Renewed Faith. Go up to 10. <laughs> yup. Opponent passes. Lich is Mastery. Well, take up Karn. No Fumigate. We get a Field of Ruin. Cast Approach. Up to 12. So take up on Sky Marcher. Play Isolated Chapel. <laughs> Pass the turn. So we can draw Fumigate and we win. We can draw... Uh, our second approach and we win. We can draw Settle and that would be good. Here comes our opponent, hits us for a ton. Yup, down to 10. Bodyguard, passes. Gateway, we'll play Gateway. Loot with Gateway. Get rid of Dragon Skull Summit. Take up Karn. Authority and Field of Ruins. We get the land, play the planes. Play Lich's Mastery, pass the dirt. I don't know if we actually survive this in a way that we can still win. Pump spell still kills us. Planes. Gonna go attacking. Everything at our face. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, man. Are we gonna have enough resources left to have a chance? So, exile land from hand. Exile land from hand. So, get rid of Karn. Get rid of a land. 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 All right. I mean, I guess we just gotta draw our Fumigate. Come on, deck. One time. Seal away. We get to loot. Land. And that does it. Oh, where's our Fumigates? Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. All right. Against the odds time. Playing some Mardu Mastery. Ugh. This end is Clunk City, but we do have Azur's Gateway. No black mana, triple black card, double black card. Mountain Goo. <laughs> Bonet, Solver Falls. Uh, Reservoir, not the most ideal draw. Well, please no, please no abrades. Please no abrades. Opponent. Ooh, Prospector, spicy. Come on, deck. We'll play Field of Ruin. Kill the Solver Falls. Grab a swamp. Pass the turn. Uh, I think this is the God Pharaoh's gift deck. The Goblin Gift. Sax Prospector. And Cathartic Reunion discarding Siege Gang Commander. There's a land. And Fanatical Friar Brand. Well, this is going to get interesting. Opponent gets in. Eh, let's Gateway. Get rid of Lich's Mastery for sure. Untap land, please, for Garn. Fumigate. Well, Gateway. Exile approach of the second sun. Miss our land drop past the turn. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, more cathartic reunions. Discards two God Pharaoh's gifts. Find a land. Gurg Prospector. Uh-oh. Opponent gets in for one. Yup. Down to 18. Passes. Well, Azur's Gateway. Get rid of Frosca's Contempt. Cycle Renewed Faith. Man, we cannot find this land. There's a land. Pass the turn. If they have Gate to the Afterlife, I think they just do it. Wily Goblin gets a treasure. Yep, here it comes. Sack, sacks, Gate to the Afterlife. Walking Ballista X, zero, loots. Yeah. Walking Ballista, good god, this hand, loots. Sacks, loots. Sacks, loots. Gets a God Pharaoh's Gift. 
plays a land, Firebrand, gets the God Pharaoh's gift, gets back something, hits us, Trophy Mage, gets another gate to the afterlife, goes attacking, we take it, untap, get into the trials, so we have to loot, hmm, <clears throat> we gotta flip, well we got a plan, we get rid of Gideon, we pass the turn, on our opponent's upkeep, we glorious end. Man, is there a chance? So we glorious end. End the turn. Untap. Loot. With Azur's Gateway. Get rid of Fumigate. Go up to 20. Tap for black mana. Play Aetherflux Reservoir. Play Lich's Mastery. Gain a bit of life. Oh man, come on deck. Veraska's Contempt Trophy Mage. Gain some life, draw some cards. We gotta find our last Glorious End and we should be able to win. So we gain three, draw three. Come on, Glorious End. Renewed Faith is decent. Gain two, draw two. Well, let's Renewed Faith. Draw a ton. Gain four, draw four. Gain six, draw six. Come on, Glorious End. Another Renewed Faith. No Glorious End. Can we get there? Play Isolated Chapel. Play Renewed Faith. Gain five, draw five. Oh man, can we just get the kill? Gate six. Oh my god, combo kill! Oh my goodness, I can't believe this just worked. Oh my goodness. Fatal push firebrand. Gain some life. Oh, the combo kill. Up to 54. Get out of here, fanatical firebrand. Opponent sacks. Exile a card from our grave. Or exile a card from our hand. Doesn't even matter. Yup. Then we cast our other Azur's gateway. Gates of life. Whoa! We drew our deck! Oh, what a turn! What a turn! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, oh no. Do we just kill ourselves? Oh my goodness. Hopefully not. Oh no. Oh no! Is there anything unclicked? One, two, three, four, five, six, plus 37. That's 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Do we miss a card in hand? Oh my goodness, are we going to time out trying to figure this out? Ah, there we go. Wait. Yes! We got there! <sighs> okay. <laughs> the Lich's Mastery stands alone. Ah, oh, the greatest combo turn of all time! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh wow. Alright. Uh, sideboarding. We want the braids. Maybe like settle the wreckage. Maybe go down to fumigate. Baraska's contempt. Go down one mastery and one seal away. I guess try it like that-ish. Well, let's do that again. Alright, I guess that's fine. Opponent mountain and prospector well conceal courtyard kill prospector pass the turn spire bluff canal and wily goblin getting the ramp on opponent passes we'll play a plains run out azur's gateway pass the turn Ugh, this looks familiar do they have it sacks looks like they have it gate to the afterlife opponent passes i'll play field of ruin so i guess actually we loot with gateway we got to find an abrade that's where we're at get rid of lich's mastery pass the turn this deck seems scary sacks loots yep discards god pharaoh's gift plays a land another gate to the afterlife man we could use our graveyard hate that would be sweet i think our best bet is to doomfall our opponent take the negate Play Isolated Chapel. Pass the turn. Mountain. All right, opponent's out of cards. Well, let's Azur's Gateway. Get rid of... Man, that's so many Gate to the Afterlife. Settle the wreckage for now. Untap. Well, let's loot with Gateway. See what we hit. Get rid of Clifftop Retreat. Play Clifftop Retreat. Play Karn. Take up Karn. Oh, there's a mastery. Opponent's probably going to give us land, though. Yeah, it gives us the land. Pass the turn. Uh, that's a sackable creature. Opponent's X. Let's see how well they run. Discards land. They have one, two. They got a double hit creatures. Creature. Oh, please not a creature. Please not a creature. <sighs> All right, we get one more turn. We get one more turn of staying alive, barely. One, two, three, four, five. All right, yeah. Opponent's passing. 
Well, take up Karn. Glorious end, concealed courtyard. Loot with gateway. Get rid of seal away. Play concealed courtyard. Pass the turn. Uh, I think we're set up to try to win next turn if our opponent whiffs. Come on, whiff. No sackable creature. No sackable creature. It's a land! Okay, we're set up. We're set up. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We got it. I think we got it. All right, so opponent passes. All right, so, well, take down Karn. Get Lich's Mastery. Play Lich's Mastery. Play Isolated Chapel. Flip Azur's Gateway. Oh! Oh! Renewed Faith. Flip it. Gate 5, draw 5. We did it! We did it! We drew Approach! Add 24 mana. Approach! Oh my god. Oh my god, this match! This deck! Gate 7, which gets us back to our Approach. Approach! Whoa! Whoa! What? A <laughs> wow! This deck could do some crazy things. Oh my lord almighty. So what do we learn this week about Mardu, Mastery, and Dominaria Standard? And overall, five matches, won three of them, so 60%. Also got in 11 games. We won seven of them, a little over 60%. So pretty reasonable as far as wins and losses were concerned however the wins some of them were just amazingly spectacular especially our last match the goblin gift match oh my god that was one of the craziest games and combos that we've ever had i think at least in a long time on against odds so the deck does really really crazy things and it's like semi-competitive enough to get some wins here or there so we're kind of like a kind of decent control deck with some weird cards thrown in we do have some um, kind of awkward cards that are good with Lich's Mastery, but not necessarily that good on their own, like Renewed Faith. However, we kind of stayed away from playing any truly bad cards. Our worst card is probably Sanguine Sacrament, which is not a good card unless we got Lich's Mastery, but otherwise, our cards are all okay on their own. Like, cycling your Renewed Faith, gaining a couple life for two mana, that's not the worst thing you could be doing. So, I feel like we did a good job not falling into the healing solve trap where we're just focused on really bad life gain spells that do nothing unless we have lich's mastery so the deck can kind of function like a weird controlish deck until we find lich's mastery and then once we have lich's mastery it feels like it's really hard to lose that was my big takeaway we had very few times when we played lich's mastery and lost of course we did lose one game to it getting rivered rebuked and just losing on the spot but for the most part we were either just playing Lich's Mastery and winning, or we were losing anyway, and we just have to play Lich's Mastery to try to buy ourselves a turn and get lucky. And I feel like we could have won even some more games, like the Mono White match. Man, we needed a Fumigate. We went through like half of our deck, could not find a Fumigate to stabilize. If we had, I think we easily win that game. So the deck is actually pretty powerful. Glorious End did some super cool tricks and stole games out of nowhere. So I feel like as far as abusing Lich's Mastery, we really hit it from all angles. We had the Approach Kill. We had the Glorious End time walk you out of the game plan. We have just random life gain, draw six with renewed faith. We didn't do too much with Sanguine Sacrament, but we drew eight one time or something. So as far as building a Lich's Mastery deck, I was pretty happy with how this one turned out. Anyway, that's been our Against the Odds deck for this week. Mardu Mastery for Dominaria Standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here